In today's episode, we're going to be replacing this 50 gallon natural gas water heater. It's leaking all over the stand, so we're going to be sure to put a pan underneath it when we go back. This recirculation pump hasn't been plugged in in a while, and the owner said when it was, it wasn't working very well. So here we've got a gas line that's kind of sticking in the way. I can't remove the heater without removing it, so we're just going to go ahead and use a shorter nipple. It's illegal to use street fittings on gas. In some areas, it's not legal to use street fittings on gas, as well as bushings and close nipples, but in my area, we're allowed to, and I'm undefeated against our local inspector. Hey boy, you better not charge extra for that. The gay valve is working just fine. Wrapping this Teflon in a clockwise direction. Arr, never wrench an open fitting. You can deform that brass and then you'll be... I was debating whether or not it looked weird with these handles going in different directions and then I determined that uh, it did look weird. So I'm just going to put them in the same direction even though one of them's going to be off the whole time and the other one will be on. So ultimately they will still be facing different directions. I know what you're thinking. Hey boy, you can't use a plastic pan on a gas water heater. Yeah, that's really funny. I wonder why they put this sticker on there that says it's approved in IRC, IPC, and UPC. Uh, must have been a misprint. I don't know. This self-adjusting pipe wrench is from Rigid. It's a 14 inch aluminum wrench and it's pretty good. I like how they have the big thumb release. We love our flex lines here in California. We're gonna be using those on the water and the gas for almost every water heater install ever. A ton of people have been asking me lately why I choose to solder or press in certain situations. And here is today's finished product. Thanks for watching.